Hey guys, it's time for my fangirl favorites of August 2014. Just as a heads up, I'm not going to be having any sort of spoilers in this video. I'm just going to try to talk about things in very general terms and just express my love for these upcoming topics. So let's get started. Well, I have already seen Guardians of the Galaxy twice and I freaking love Guardians of the Galaxy. I was incredibly worried that I wouldn't like it because the whole concept seemed so strange and weird and just not the typical sort of Marvel superhero movie, but I thoroughly enjoyed it. It was just kind of it was kind of Star Wars-ish to kind of explain it in general terms. Kind of that same fun and humor and, and action adventure sort of thing that the Star Wars movies have. I also really adored all of these characters. I that was another thing that I was worried about going into Guardians of the Galaxy was the fact that I was worried I wouldn't be able to connect or like these characters since so many people had been describing these characters as being these huge jerks. And even in the trailers for this movie that's how they were always having these characters come across that these characters are unlikable. I really liked Chris Pratt as Star-Lord. I've never thought of Chris Pratt as being attractive until this movie. I thought he was just so perfectly cast, the humor was spot on, and he even did the dramatic parts so incredibly well. Yeah, I love that, that red burgundy jacket, it was so cool. And his little helmet thingy. And who doesn't like Zoe Saldana? Zoe Saldana is always fantastic in anything she's in, and she was really perfect as Gamora. And they did some really great makeup on her. It didn't look like makeup, and it definitely wasn't CG makeup. And I also liked Dave Bautista as Drax, and I have no idea who he is. I just know that he is a like pro wrestler of some sort. But I thought he was really great in the role of Drax as well. Uh, again, great makeup on him. I was worried that his acting would be a little strange since he was a wrestler, but I thought the way that Drax was portrayed in the movie, that they, that the director played to Dave Bautista's strengths. And then, of course, I loved Rocket Raccoon and Groot, voiced by Bradley Cooper and Vin Diesel. And after a while, I forgot that Bradley Cooper and Vin Diesel were doing those voices. Rocket and Groot totally stole the movie. I can't imagine anyone disliking those two characters. They were just so fun. And I loved every single line that came out of Rocket's mouth. It was just always so hilarious and so spot on and perfect. And Groot was so adorable. For, for, for a talking, walking tree, I can't believe that I loved the Groot character so much. So yeah, I am extremely looking forward to the second movie. And I'm also really looking forward to when the Guardians and the Avengers meet. That would be an awesome clash of two different teams. And I'm curious which characters would clash and which characters would get along. I feel like Gamora and Black Widow would be like the best of friends. <laughs> and imagine all of the wit and puns that would just go between Star-Lord and Tony Stark. That would be epic. But yeah, have you guys seen Guardians of the Galaxy? Have you seen it twice or more? Uh, just let me know in the comments below. I'd really love to talk about the movie with you. The next thing I'm going to talk about is the FX television series Tyrant. The season finale just finished airing and I freaking loved this TV series. Like, words cannot express how much I loved Tyrant. Tyrant is about an American pediatrician whose name is Barry Al-Fayed. Uh, the important thing to know about Barry is the fact that his father is the dictator of a fictional Arabic country. Barry, 20 years ago, left the Middle East, left his family behind, his mother, his father, and his brother. He went to America, started his life over, married an American woman. 
and so now 20 years later he is returning back to the Middle East to attend the wedding of his nephew. Tyrant is a freaking amazing show you guys. I oh, I love it. Uh, it's the one thing that kind of comes to mind to compare the show to weirdly weirdly enough is Game of Thrones. <laughs> Except Tyrant doesn't have white walkers and dragons. Tyrant seems very much like like a sort of modern equivalent to Game of Thrones. There's so much political turmoil and intrigue and treachery. And I think if you like that aspect the most on Game of Thrones, then you'll really love that aspect on Tyrant. The stories are absolutely amazing. There was never a dull moment in my opinion. I was thoroughly entertained. There was funny moments, there was dramatic moments, there were just all sorts of highs to this show. And week after week, I, I had a hard time waiting between weeks for the next new episode. It was extremely hard. and I, I, was, I had to be so patient because I just wanted to know how the story was continuing each week. I think the production value on this show is also incredibly well done. I think I saw something that said it's it, it's one of the most expensive television series uh, some, uh, kind of that came out this year. It, it was filmed in Israel, if I'm not mistaken. Correct me if I'm wrong. So they have a lot of really fantastic location shots. But one of the best things about Tyrant is the character interactions and the character relationships. They're, they are just so well done and, and everyone has such great chemistry. And one of my favorite relationships is the relationship between Barry and his brother Jamal. And that is the, the big thing about this show, is their relationship. And the season finale, you guys, it was freaking amazing. I, I cannot wait until season two. This show better have a season two. If it doesn't have a season two, I'm going to literally scream. But I beg you guys, please, please give Tyrant a chance if you have not done so already. I don't think you'll be disappointed. It is just an amazing show. One of my newest television obsessions at the moment. So have any of you guys seen Tyrant? Just let me know in the comments below and I would really love to talk about that show with you guys. And moving on to the last part of this video is my fangirl merchandise. And this is the part of the video where I get a wee bit embarrassed. Let's put it this way. If there is something fluffy and adorable that's in a movie or television series, one way to make me spend money is to make that cute thing into a plushy object. And this is what happened this month. Before I get to the super embarrassing items, I will show you some pops. And I got the Guardians of the Galaxy pops. The first one is Star-Lord, Gamora, and Rocket and Groot. I don't know why they make all of the Marvel pops as bobbleheads, so it's kind of a little annoying. I'm worried that their heads are going to fly off. As you'll notice, I don't have Drax. I'm, I'm upset that I don't have Drax. That would complete the collection. I knew I should have bought him when I first saw him, but I didn't. And then when I went back to Barnes & Noble, I believe, uh, all of his pops were gone. And I was so upset. And I haven't been able to find the Drax pop at all ever since. So hopefully he'll pop up in the next couple months or so. And then I can find him and complete the collection of Guardians of the Galaxy. And wait till you see this one, guys. A Rocket Raccoon plushie. I found this at the Disney store over in the little boy section. <laughs> That's that's embarrassing. I found this in the little boy section at the Disney store. Oh goodness. But my god, he's freaking adorable. Look, look, look. He has so much detail on him and his little tail. Look at his little tail. Oh. And he, and he actually stands up really good. Um, I'm not going to be able to do it right here, but his tail is kind of built a certain way that kind of you can prop him up and he'll stand on his own. So yeah, this is item number one of embarrassment. <laughs> And item number two of embarrassment. 
Grey Wind and Summer from Game of Thrones. Rob Stark's direwolf and Bran's direwolf. Oh, they're freaking adorable. There is a ghost direwolf plushie, but uh, the store I went to didn't have him, so I'm going to be anxiously looking around for him. You know what's really embarrassing is the fact that you can go to just about any sort of store. You can go to the zoo, and they'll have tons of little uh, wolf related plushies and these are basically these are just kind of basic wolf plushies but they stick the Game of Thrones logo tag on them and suddenly I go nuts and HBO just made money oh look at all the cuteness this look at all this cuteness so yeah see what I said about this is an embarrassing video this month <sighs> so that's it for this month's fangirl favorites in the comments below. I'd like you guys to share with me things that you enjoyed this month. Did you see any good movies? What were your favorite television shows? Any good music? Just let me know all of your thoughts for this month. So that's it for this month's fangirl favorites. I hope you guys enjoyed. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And if you liked this video, you may like these other videos. Bye guys! <laughs>